In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export your artboards and then insert them into Game Salad. So in Illustrator, once you've kind of laid out everything the way you want it to go, uh, you've got the right sizes and everything. I've got all my artboards. Uh, I'm ready to just do a file and go ahead and do uh, an export. And make sure you choose this Use Artboards. Uh, you can tell it what range, or in this case, I'm just going to do all of them. Uh, on here. Uh, and then the next thing you got to make sure you do, make sure you look where it's going to be saving it to uh, and then go ahead and just click export. Uh, so once you do that, I would make sure you're on color and make sure it's transparent. 72 should be good for the PPI and go ahead and click OK. So once you export those out, uh, you're pretty much done with Illustrator. You can now move into Game Salad and to insert into Game Salad, uh, make sure you're in one of your actors. So I'll just double click on one of my actors. And then down here at the bottom, if you click in Images, um, basically we want to insert our graphics into here. So we're going to go ahead and click on this little plus key. And then we just need to locate where uh, you've saved your, your graphics. Uh, so that might, as long as you paid attention, to where you save those two, you should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and locate uh, where I have saved those uh, in my projects. And in there, you should have a whole bunch of uh, PNGs, is what they usually export out to. You may want to rename them, um, but if you don't care about renaming them, just select them individually. Or if you click them uh, one by one, so I'm just going to go ahead and just click and hold down Shift and grab the next one. And then hold down Command to, looks like, uh, just grab those ones. And then just click Open. Uh, that'll install them. So now all those pieces are in uh, the bottom here. So now that I'm ready to actually start working with those, um, on your actors over here, you're going to go ahead and start replacing. So to, to start the replacing feature, uh, I'm going to go ahead and locate where I need to replace. Uh, so if I'm just looking for the, the standing to start off, and maybe I'll do that one first. So I've got the, the standing right image. And this is where it can really help if you name your characters the right way uh, and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab this guy. He looks like he'll fit in that spot right there. Um, uh, falling left. Uh, I'll just go ahead and throw one that looks like... Um, works in there. Uh, to do the animation feature, that's going to be a little bit more uh, involved. So to get that to, to work, let me open this up a little bit. Um, to get that to, to work, let me find one of my animations. Um, grab this one right here. And uh, what I'll need to do is attach a series of my animation. It doesn't have to be the same amount, so I'm just going to grab maybe these, uh, this section and just click, hold, and drag uh, and put them into that section. And then I'll go ahead and move these guys out of here. So I'm just selecting them, holding shift to select uh, multiple. And then if I go ahead and click preview, I can start to see uh, what's happening. So if I go ahead and move in, and if you didn't notice before, I actually put in my characters backwards, and that's why they're not working the correct way. So if I want to go and fix that, just go back in uh, to my actors. Uh, so home, go into my actors and click on that player. And then you just continue to fix or uh, keep installing some of those features. And that's how you do it.